Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Flash drought continues to expand across Oklahoma, creating a number of challenges for livestock producers, including toxins in forage. Here's SUNUP's Curtis Hare with more. A light haze of dust in the air, cracks in the red earth, and waves of unrelenting heat are familiar sights for Noble County producer Randy Sheever. We uh, had this drought back in 10, 11, and 12, and it sort of prepared us for the, what we're going through right now. Uh, we completely ran out of forage in our pastures back then, 10 years ago. This year, timely May rains after months of drought helped Randy establish a good stand of forage sorghum, or hay grazer. But just when the field was ready to be cut, the flash drought and the extreme Oklahoma heat set in. We, I was talking to my neighbor, Dennis, and, and he had planted hay grazer. I said, Dennis, I'm going to cut mine. He said, boy, you better look at those light spots out there. He said, I lost two cows by unrolling a bale of hay grazer. Go back the next day and they're laying there dead just like Anaplas does. In drought stress plants such as forage and Johnson grass, nitrates can be an issue. Prussic acid can also occur. Thinking his field might be like his neighbors, Randy contacted OSU Extension beef cattle specialist Dave Wallman and Pawnee and Osage ag educator Rick Clovis just to make sure. Typically um, we get this call and the producers are getting ready to bale the hay and so we, we would prefer to take the test while, from, from recently cut plants or you know just cut them and then test them and we'd strip the leaves off, split the stem, put the reagent on it and see what the reaction is. So this is a diphenylamine um, reagent and acid and it's very toxic so it's not available to everybody you need to go through your extension office to be able to do this test or if nitrates are present it's going to show a, a blue to purple color change in the in the stem wherever we drop the the reagent the nice thing about the quick test if you get a negative answer in other words it does not react to the to the reagent uh, there's low chance of getting a false negative and what that what that means is that if you send it in to get the quantitative test, it's probably gonna be really low. If the quick test is positive for nitrates, it doesn't mean that the forage is now useless. If it does react with the quick test, it's just a, a real consistent signal that you need to send it in uh, to the, the Swaffle Laboratory here in the Division of Agriculture. That test only costs $6 per sample. We recommend people go ahead and bale the hay uh, take one or two cores from each bale out of about 20 bales scattered throughout the field, mix it up in a bucket real good, and send a sample. A few weeks ago, a number of producers lost cattle to prussic acid. And although prussic acid and nitrates are both harmful and even fatal for livestock, prussic acid will eventually go away once the plants are cut. But for nitrates, it's nowhere near that simple. Once it's cut, generally speaking in a hay crop, it's there. Now, you know, one way that may be an option for a few producers is to put it up as silage because the fermentation process in a silo reduces the nitrate concentration by somewhere around 30, 20, 30, even up to 50 percent. The quick test did show presence of nitrates in plants from one of Randy's other fields. But for this hay here, it's looking like he'll have some forage for his cows this winter, though he's still planning to test once it's baled, just to make sure. What that means for me, it, I don't wake up at night about this much hay that I need. Uh, I think it's going to be okay. Uh, so many people don't have the option. I'm very fortunate to have a, a little bit of land that, that it was fallow here that I could plant this. Most cattlemen don't have that opportunity. When they're out, they're out. And if there's none for sale, or if you have to drive so far with the prices of everything, uh, you might as well load your cattle up. I, Mother Nature, I guess my final statement, Mother Nature's always in charge. And we're all at her mercy in this hot Oklahoma summer. In Noble County, I'm Curtis Hare.